Hi, I'm Paul, and we're at Ripe Organic. Today I'm with Toby, and we're going to crack some peaches in some Prosecco. It looks damn good. So it's pretty easy to do this dish, like all the cooking I like. Yep. We're not going to add loads of sugar into there. We're going to rely on the natural sugar within the peaches. Yeah, good. What are we looking good. for in peaches? When are they in season, Paulie? Both white and red, uh, white and yellows. I love a good blush. I love a smooth skin, uh, firmish, not too, not not too soft. Um, white crests I love in uh, the yellows and Arctic's in the white. Can't go wrong. Cool. You got work to do? I'm done. Out of here. <laughs> To get this going, pop the peaches into a pot that's easily going to fit them, along with a vanilla pod that's been split. Carefully pop the Prosecco. And pop that straight in. After you've topped the peaches with the Prosecco, you can add the zest of one orange into there, and a few cardamom pods. Once you've got the peaches, the Prosecco, the vanilla, the cardamom, all in that pot there, you can bring it up to the boil. As soon as it hits the boil, reduce it down to a simmer for five minutes. After five minutes, take it off the heat and allow the peaches to cool right down in that syrup. While that's all happening, we're going to make a beautiful coconut mint sugar. To make your mint sugar, add the sugar into a mortar. And then slowly incorporate the mint into there. Once all that mint's been absorbed into that coconut sugar, take a good spoon of it, reserving a little bit, and we can stir that into the creme fraiche. Once that's all stirred in, set it aside until we need it. We've brought the peaches up to the boil and let them simmer away for five minutes and then allow them to cool absolutely completely in that liquid. So now we can peel the skin right off, pop it on the plate, creme fraiche goes next to it with a little bit of the syrup and some of that minty sugar.